These are the Solomon Quest 4D GTX Forces 2. So Solomon, I think it's a French company. Uh, I just got these from my, a really great website actually, uh, TG Tactical Gear. I just found them and they have coupon codes. They actually have a sale going on right now. Uh, but if you sign up with them, you can get a coupon code for uh, your first order. And uh, I ended up getting these and I ended up ordering a bunch of other stuff from them because uh, it's a wonderful website. They have really great, great, great things. But anyways, these uh, these are the GTX, the Gore-Tex. Um, from what I read, these were a little bit stiffer of a boot than uh, the other Quest Forces. So I wanted something that was going to stand up over time. These are my old boots. These actually were pretty good too. They were... Uh, Sketchers, but they had no real tactical use. It was more of a work and hiking boot, and they got pretty worn out. And uh, I think I paid about a hundred dollars for those Sketchers on sale maybe three years ago. And I've been looking to get into some better boots, and I have another pair of boots. But uh, these Solomons, I think, are going to be all around um, tactical hiking work. Uh, they are not steel toe, but the toe is pretty rigid. The toe is covered with the uh, sole or, or the uh, shoe rubber. Now Solomon, I, I uh, know that they've been making a lot of good shoe products recently. Um, I've known them from skiing for many years and they've always made good ski gear and I have some of their ski gear. Uh, but these boots have the, uh, the white part here is the Gore-Tex sewn in on the sides. These are not made in China, thank the Lord. <laughs> that's probably why they came out so well um, the shipping from uh, TG was extremely quick I think I got them after about two days after I ordered them so there's uh, this is the insert for the boot the uh, they call it ortholite comfort from inside out and it's a foam it's pretty thin I mean it's all right it gives some arch support here I have high arches long feet um, and my toes are a little funky wonky in the shape. So uh, it's sometimes hard for me to find the right toe box that works for my foot. But um, these boots I, I ordered I ordered size 12. I normally wear uh, size 12. Um, these are my dailies, <laughs> Asics. Uh, I love Asics, really good sneakers. Um, anyways, I ordered my Asics in a size 13. So a lot of times the shoes I order in 13, these old boots, uh, they were 13 and they fit very well. But the Solomons, I found um, size 12, which is my real size. So they're absolutely true to size. And, you know, it's a little bit difficult when you wear size 12 because there's usually no halves. So I couldn't order 12 and a half, 13 and a half. The lowest would be 11 and a half. But if you're 12 and larger, you're kind of lumped into uh the whole sizes so um really nice uh, exterior material these have a guarantee they come with a warranty this is like a uh, synthetic uh, uh suede or leather and there's not um it doesn't look like the venting is enough to let sand through but it's enough to let the foot uh breathe and really nice sole good good texture here this is the 4d2 uh, system 4d and then it has this reinforced uh, like plastic here um, that, that runs across the back and the side. They're a little tough to get on, um, but they do have this really nice material around the ankle, which I found uh, was pretty soft and smooth. It's like a, a mesh, a polyester mesh. The laces are very good. And uh, I put them on and I've been very impressed with them. So a couple things here, you actually get a usable finger hole, uh, finger pull. A lot of the Chinese made boots, they're made, I don't know if they make them for child's fingers or something, but the damn things are impossible to use. Like look at this, I mean you could barely get a damn pencil in there. So uh, really nice laces, they have a little bit of elasticity and when I've been pulling them they, they haven't seemed to... Uh, to want to break or snap um, the loops here are all excellent uh, you can crank the hell out of them and they will uh, they will stay sturdy and strong good ankle support laterally 
So uh, I think it would be very hard. I'm prone to getting ankle sprains. Um, and I think it would be very difficult for me to, to sprain my ankle with these high tops. Um, they do fit under uh, pants. These are these are not the baggiest pants. And uh, these are actually Costco pants. Vintage, I think. Weatherproof vintage pants. And they have a little bit of elasticity. And they fit over the boot. Boots are very comfortable. I do have high arches. So for those of you that have high arches, I would recommend... Uh, replacing the sole uh, but other than that I spent some time walking around in them but they were shockingly comfortable and one thing is with boots like these uh, they can get very heavy and you may not realize that ordering something online but uh, a lot of times that's where you're spending the extra money you know my, my mother when I was growing up she always told me buy once cry once or um, Buy less, but buy better. And so that, you know, I'd been holding off on boots for a while. These were, I think, 200 and 210 or something like that, free shipping. There was a coupon code. Um, again, uh, I'll, I'll put a link to the website. I'll put a link to the to the uh, to the boots themselves. You can get the non-Gore-Tex version, but for being in the mountains and being in the cold, I think uh, it's better to have that option. And if you wear good socks. Um, you know, you'll get, you'll get some wicking anyway. So each boot weighs slightly less than my two ASICs. So I'm going to call it one and a quarter ASICs. And so them being very light is a, it's really an awesome shoe. I mean, I, I wasn't really going to review it cause I thought boots, whatever, but they're really great. Um, and it's, it's worth the investment. Um, uh, very impressed with Solomon. I think they did an excellent job on these. They they have several other in this line, so I haven't uh, I don't have much experience with those, but I know that there are so many options for boots like this. I'm really glad that I decided on the Solomons, and they are uh, very well constructed, I think, and and hopefully they will last me a long time. So the other cool thing about these is it's they have this uh, raised front, so for walking, it it kind of contours forward to assist. Uh, in the step and I, I really like that I, I think that um, the weight distribution I don't feel any pressure points uh, if, if you're wearing these in service I think uh, for long marches you're gonna be really well served you may want to consider you know the sock that you're wearing I have some pretty skinny uh, wicking socks on right now um, but you may want to consider a thicker sock and uh, that might help with, with cushioning if you get blister points or pressure points. But I think anyone who's doing long marches, rucking, whatever, these are going to be really, really an upgrade and, and quite excellent. Um, the weight distribution that I have in each step is, is uh, it's great. It's like wearing a tennis shoe and a combat boot. <laughs> that's, that's what I would describe it as. Um, you know, not too, not too soft, pretty compliant. You know, I can get down, no problem, get back up. Uh, I can exercise in these, jog, everything. So thanks everyone for watching. Uh, if you guys have questions or anything, always let me know. Please do subscribe. Thank you everyone.